Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Gregg from Darkroom Door and we're here at Creativation 2018 and I just want to show you some ideas using our new stamp sets. We've got two new stamp sets called uh, Botanical Script and Butterfly Script. These are really nice detailed stamps with some really nice quotes in them. So I just want to show you some quick ideas on how you can colour them up. So I've just got it on the block here. Just going to ink it up here with some archival ink. I like using the archival ink because it's an oil based ink, a permanent ink, so it won't run when I use some uh, colouring markers over the top. So, just inking that up. And I'm stamping onto some specialty stamping paper. It's a really nice smooth paper that'll just also keep the detail of these stamps. So lift that up there and then you can see all the detail in that stamp. So I've done one here that I've just uh, already got dry so I'm ready to um, colour that one up. And I'm just going to use some distress markers. Now these are a water based marker, they've been on the market for a while so you may have heard of them before and I'm just simply colouring in the background. I just want to show you something nice and quick and simple. And the good thing about colouring with these markers and especially with this stamp design, you don't need to be particularly accurate with your colouring. This just gives it that nice sort of easy watercolory look. And what I really like about using the lighter colours of distress markers is that you can go direct to paper because it still is a subtle colour. This one here is the antique linen. So it's still a nice subtle colour for the background still by going direct to paper. So we can just go up with some darker colours and again just going direct to paper and just colouring in these butterflies just to give it a bit of extra now if you are going into colours that are a little bit more vibrant, simply wipe a little bit onto your craft mat and you can pick that up with a water brush and then just colour in your butterflies that way. And that will just give you a really nice watercolour effect. So you could do the whole uh, stamp like this or the whole stamp design with a really nice sort of whimsical watercolour effect. This one here, this one's Shabby Shutters. It's a really nice soft, soft colour. So you can just go straight to the paper again with that one. And the beauty of these butterflies, if you wanted to be more intricate with your colouring, if you wanted to do, you know, different parts of the butterfly in different colours, you could just simply colour in separate parts and add different colours that way. So let me just show you that. So if you wanted to do a multicolored butterfly, you can color it in that way. We've also got the flower stamp from the botanical script background. And again, if I just do a quick background color, just using the antique linen, and just go around there. then using other colors here for the flowers to lift that up and of course you can use any other marker um, depending on what sort of um, effect you'd like to get so you can see how quick and easy this is I mean obviously I'm going pretty quick here just to show you how fast you can do it so if you're looking for nice easy cards that just have that really nice vintage feel I'm using soft colors here obviously just gives that really nice sort of you know vintage look to it and I'll just add another color here to the lace and there we go so that's just a couple of different ideas there on how you can color those stamps course you know all you need to do now is just mat that onto a card and then you've got a finished piece